Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be making a two-wheel electric skateboard. Or, as some of you might know it as the speedboard. So, basically, I tried my best to record as much as possible. It's not perfect, but it's enough for you guys to understand what I'm doing. So, before I get started, I just want you guys to know that on this channel, I'll be basically making videos about electronic stuff like skateboards motors and batteries and stuff like that so if you guys are into those stuff please consider subscribing to my youtube channel and also just want to give a shout out to speedboard because i kind of got the idea from them so i'll leave their gofundme and their website in the description so you guys can go ahead and support them once again thanks for watching if you're new consider subscribing and let's get started Alright guys, so this is where I am with the real electric skateboard, or if you want to call it, the speed or DIY speaker. All I really did was, I went to Home Depot and I got a square tube, a 1x16 inch, and I basically just cut out two parts right there and here for it to just slide in. And what I'll do is I'll get it welded at these parts, and I was also planning on bringing this right up here and just cutting it out for the steering so guys all i really did was i got most of the important parts from my razor uh e300 as you guys can see i still have the front wheel from the razor but the rear wheel is basically the tire is brand new but the sprocket and everything else came with the razor scooting these are the parts that i'll be using for the steering the hinges that I'll be using, which is right up here, and I'll basically be hooking it up like this, just like that. So I'll go get it welded, and I'll get right back to you. So I got all the parts welded. You can basically see the skateboard already, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just cleaning it like that. It's kind of hot right now. So I'm just getting it all cleaned up and I'll spray it. And yeah. All right, so I cleaned it up a little bit and I got the steering mechanism on and it's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna go put the wheels on now. So I got the wheels on. But I'm having problems with this steering mechanism. It's not really working. So I might have to change that in the future. So I'm just gonna go find something else and use it for the steering. I finally found something that works a little bit better. As you guys can see. It's not as sensitive. What I'll do is I'll, I'll add some bearings. I'll try to add some thrust bearings between this part right here. I'll also have to cover this hole up. And also, the motor came in. And this is also a Race Star speed controller that I'll be powering this skateboard with. Okay, guys, so I got it out. As you guys can see, that's the motor. It should be a 6374 motor. Got it for like, I think, like $59 plus taxes. So what I basically plan to do guys is mount the motor, motor right here, right up to the wheel. And I'll just have the chain run and connect to the um the motor gear. That's where I'm at right now. And I guess I'll get back to you guys after I got the motor mounted. All right guys, so I did a couple more things to the speedboard. As you guys can see, first of all, I finally got the motor mounted so what i did was i took an angle bracket and i cut it out in order to mount the motor on it and i also brought the rear wheel i basically modified the mount and i brought it in a little bit so it'll decrease the total length of the skateboard to around 50 inches 
what I also did was I added uh, spring tensioners. The spring will automatically straighten up the wheel, straighten up the wheel when I'm turning. So for example, if I lean, the wheel will automatically turn like this. But when I straighten up the board, the wheel will need some way to get back straight. And that's what the spring tensioner does. It automatically straightens the wheel. All right guys, so I'll be ending the video here. This was part one. In part two, I'll basically add the electronics and I'll take it out for a test ride. So you guys can see how it performs. So thanks for watching. If you're into DIY stuff, anything that deals with an electric motor, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.